And it was night already, but this man still carried on with the campaign even at night. But you know what was so fascinating about it? The people who were there waiting for him and they equally campaigned with him in the middle of the night. That was class. Now we saw this during the presidential election when Mr. Pitobi was campaigning. He campaigned morning, afternoon, evening. If Nigeria is a functional society that rewards merit, that rewards hard work. Mr. Pitobi would have been the president because he embodies everything that any nation is looking for. You talk about competence, you talk about character, you talk about someone that can do the job, you talk about someone that can do something by merit. So now for the Labour Party campaign yesterday for Olumi, that but that was so massive. But something that is more fascinating is that two years after the election was done and dusted, people still love Mr. Pitobi. People still crave to see him. People still go after him. People still leave their businesses to come out and campaign with Mr. Peter Robey. It shows you who they love. It shows you that this is the man they voted for. It shows you that this is the man they wanted to hand Nigeria over to. But the evil forces in this country could not allow that to happen. And let me also inform you that Kashim Shetima was in a those days today to campaign for the APC gubernatorial candidate. Saolu was in a those days today to campaign for the PDP gubernatorial candidate. Atiku Abubakar was in a those states yesterday to campaign for the PDP gubernatorial candidate. The who is who in APC and PDP came to campaign for their respective candidate, but none of them drew the kind of traction that Mr. P2B campaign drew. This is to tell you that P2B is the man of the people. P2B has that street credibility. Anywhere he goes, the people follow. If Nigeria is a functional society that rewards hard work, Mr. Peter Rubin would have been at the helm of affairs directing what will be happening in this country. Not someone like Bola Metinibu that work one month in, one month out of the country. Even the one month in that he's working, people are not even feeling it. There was flood in Borono State. You saw some APC stalwart like Kashim Shetima, the NSA, Nuhu Ribado, going to Borono State. These guys wore barbaric regard to Borono State, a flooded area and they were throwing bread to the people. Trust if Mr. Pitobi was there, he would have done something different. Mr. Pitobi will not be inside the water throwing bread to people as if they are criminals, as if they are prisoners. No. And Bolamet Nubu is not even there. But you can be rest assured that Mr. Pitobi will be there by himself. And one other thing I love that Mr. Pitobi has brought into our politics is that he has made all the po other political leaders to be very, very active. This is the third time that Mr. Pitobi is visiting a do state. But this is the first time Atiko Bubaka is going to a do state. And I'm sure the reason why they are doing all this thing is because Pitobi has been there. Pitobi has kept them awake. Before now, after the election, every one of them will disappear. They will only come back when the election is near. Now you can see that most of them they are trying to keep up with Mr. Pitobi activities. They are trying to be around, trying to hold the government accountable, trying to be seen in public so that the people will know that they are around but they cannot do it the way mr peter b is doing it but i love what is happening at least there is a competition in the politics politicians are not doing the most to catch up with mr peter b but they can't catch up with mr peter b mr peter b work rate is out of this world and this is the reason why we love him now back to ulumide abata the election is coming on on the 20th of september 2024 Edo people, you have the opportunity to choose between going forward and going back. This is not an election of party affiliation. This is not an election of ethnic sentiment. This is an election for the soul of survivor of a Edo state. 
A two political party of the APC and the PDP, they've had a test of power in a dual state. And I can tell you that they have not done what a dual state people want them to do. They've not taken a dual state to the point where a dual state ought to be. That is the reason why they are back again campaigning vigorously. It's not only that they are campaigning, they are even trying to instigate crisis in the state so that they can win the election. You don't need all of that. Like very dark man said, if Godwin or Basike has done great in a dual state, he don't even need to stress himself to be campaigning again for his anointed candidate. The people will definitely vote for his anointed candidate based on his antecedent. But you can see that he has not even done much for the people of a dual state. That is the reason why he is even fighting with APC because he is seeing them as a threat. He's even fighting with Labour Party because he's seeing them as a threat. He hasn't done anything. For the fact that we are still talking about road in 2024 is a more reason why you should all go out there and vote out APC and PDP. Let sanity return with those state. The level of courtism going on in a dual state, it is because of the criminality that is going on in government. Government officials they are using these courts to unleash mayhem in the state. Look at what happened with the deputy governor of Edo state, Philip Schweibu, when he came into Edo state. He was attacked and a policeman was killed in that attack. The whole brouhaha involving Obaseke and his deputy ought not to be so, if not because of the power quest, if not because of politics. Like for the past how many years, a dual state don't even have a deputy governor. And you all are happy with it. This is not the kind of politics we ought to be playing. We ought to be playing politics of competitive rivalry. Not this destructive politics that we are playing. Look at the trade of wars involving Oshomole and Obaseke's wife. We don't have to experience this kind of things in our politics. This is what's called destruction in our politics. You need to ensure that these two people don't have a test of power anymore in your state. Vote for Olumide Abata. Olumide Abata is in a party that will bring sanity in a do state. Olumide Abata is an independent candidate that is not being sponsored by anyone. Unlike the APC guy and the PDP guy, he will bring sanity to the state. Olumide Abata will rule without any distraction. He has shown that he's a very competent candidate. His time as the NBA president was very, very great. The best NBA president that this country has ever experienced. Allow him to bring his work rate into governance in a do state. And I'm sure you are going to experience transformative governance in a do state. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.